When you think of using steel in construction, you usually think of commercial structures like this that you see on the side of the road. But more and more builders are taking a serious look at using steel to frame homes. And did you know that about 70% of all the steel that goes into a home like this is recycled? That's the equivalent of about five to six salvaged cars. Well, today I'm at Tri-Steel Structures in Denton, Texas, and we're gonna show you how they make steel framing for homes. Building a steel framed home is much like putting together a giant erector set. And joining me today is David Brown, who's president of Tri Steel Structures. David, why would I want to build a steel framed home over a wood one? Sure. Some of the benefits are inherent in the material. Steel will not rot, warp, crack, split, or creep. Some of the benefits are to you as the consumer. In the high wind areas, in earthquake areas, fire, it's non-combustible, which results in insurance discounts. And finally, termites, it's obviously a termite-proof material. How does the process start? We're going to receive the material like this in 20, 30, and 40-foot lengths from our suppliers. We're going to then cut it, cope it, mark it, and angle it according to the engineering specs that have come out of our Tri-Steel Corporate Engineering Office. So you can take any set of plans and, and make it into a steel frame building? That's exactly right. About 30% of our business is custom. We take a set of wood prints and redesign it to steel. Now I notice when I look at uh, a typical steel stud and then the gauge of metal that it's made out of, this is pretty flimsy uh, in just a flat state, but when you roll it into this shape, it's very strong. One of the beauties and benefits of steel is the flexibility and the strength to weight characteristics of the material. And I never have to worry about this rusting. It's galvanized protected. David, is it hard to get a clean cut in this steel? Not at all, Steve. We've got a couple of uh, cutting options. Number one, we have a commercial industrial chop saw. It uses a standard 14-inch blade to make our cuts. Typically, we'll make our straight cuts with that machine. We also have something kind of neat, which is a plasma cutting torch. Now, it uses a combination of air and electricity to make a very clean and precise cut. That's how you get all the notches so accurate, so that when it shows up in, in the field, you don't have to worry about this stuff fitting together? That's exactly right. Our goal is to make it easy as possible in the field. Every part will be placed in a bundle. That bundle will be numbered. You'll receive a bundle list. So when actually erecting the frame on the job site, you go to the appropriate bundle, pull out the appropriate members, match your drawings, find the distances, and make your connections. So all these are pre-cut, so I don't do any notching, cutting, or anything like that? In the Structurally field. speaking, everything is pre-cut and pre-labeled. So uh, as an owner-builder, I might be able to try this myself. This is perfect for the owner-builder. If you're interested in framing a home yourself, saving some money, our product is perfect for that application. Steve, let me give you an example of what we mean about parts, not pieces. Here's an exterior wall stud, pre-labeled, pre-cut. Place the stud in its proper location. Clamp it down. Just like vice grips. That's exactly right, and you're ready to make your connection. No sawing, no cutting. That's exactly right. Now, I notice here that you're using screws, not nails, and they have a little drill bit on the end of them. They're self-drilling members, so you don't have to pre-drill for your connections. I gotta try one. It's a clutch that automatically stops? It's exactly right. It's like a giant erector set, just like That's I said. That's the concept. Steel homes look the same as any other home in the neighborhood. In fact, it's impossible to tell the difference. And in America, we build over 50,000 of these each year. Framing with steel offers some distinct advantages. Because steel is lightweight and strong, it gives you a lot of design flexibility. You can span long distances without having to worry about interior supports. And you can finish it out in a variety of ways. For example, over here, we have a big cathedral ceiling that's finished out in drywall, or we can finish these beams out in wood veneer. As you can see, the final products look great. Steel homes stand up well against storms, they're fire resistant, and they can't be devoured by termites. 